I will say bending forward is probably not going to be great. <laughs> Because okay. I, I feel like, because you look for like rib humping, right? Is that what it is? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, when I try to look bend forward, I feel like I can't. Okay, so right, we're here with Zach today. We've got some some low back pain, some sciatica. Which leg is it going down, Zach? Left. We're going down the left leg, sciatica left leg. And uh, we saw a CT and MRI report. We have some disc bulging, but it's minimal. We have an abnormal hemangioma, which is most likely a, a nominal, non-important uh, non finding for this case. And uh, the one important finding that we did find was congenital shortening of the pedicle. I'll throw a picture up there of a pedicle. And so that's cause of, causing, most likely causing, so we don't have any nerve pinching, but we most likely have some tension along the, the nerve roots uh, from the shortening of the pedicle. And maybe even your job looking over your shoulder is increasing that tension. That's a possibility. Um, there's only one thing to do. You're going to have to drive the forklift backwards. <laughs> So look over the other shoulder. We've got a high left ear, high left shoulder, and it looks like maybe a high left hip too. Put your hands on your hips for me, please. Go ahead, now remove your hands. Let me just test. Good. Yep. Yep. It is very, very left-sided. High left shoulder, high left hip, high, high left uh, mastery process. Good. We do have a flattening of the arch on both sides as well. And uh, go ahead and march in place now. Let's just take a look. Good. Oh, I definitely see some hip asymmetries there. Both knees are coming up to the right. Yeah, that the right leg's out, pointed out, angulated to the right. The left leg is pointed out to the right with a an eversion on both sides. So there's definitely a hip asymmetry there and a compensation. Good. Okay, Achilles tendon is straight on, so no pronation, supination, no genuvarum, no genuvalgus of the lower extremity. That's good. Right there. Now just, just slowly bend forward to touch your toes. If it hurts, I'm keep my knee straight. You don't have to. You can bend your knees. Okay, I was gonna say, I mean, if I bend if that, that helps. Yep, and then you've got pain there. Yeah, it's back here. All right, come back up here. Let's get turned to the left. Good. Let's do that one more time. Let's, let's just go ahead and pull bend until there's pain. I mean, if I keep my knee straight, it's like it starts to feel it right there. And you feel it going down your leg right yeah, now? Yeah, it's like in here. If I'm... Let's see. Do you feel the pain that way? Yeah, a little bit. Feel the other way. Feel the pain that way? Mm. Not as much? Yeah, not as much, I don't think. All right, so you're, so pain leaning into the side of, but not as much as going forward though, obviously. Yeah, forward. Yeah. Forward, yeah. All right, so forward does tell us that we're um, putting pressure on the discs and the discs are maybe bulging out a little bit more. Your MRI was taken laying down, so a minimal disc bulge when you're laying down may change when you're standing and when you're okay. pushing yourself forward. And since we have the shortened pedicles, that means there's less space in the canal um, for that disc to have any kind of like safety room if it does bulge, which is why we're getting this. Yeah, I was gonna say, just like when sitting, already standing up and doing what we were doing, like already now I'm kind of, I'm just feeling it. Yeah, just kind of like resonating in there. All right, we're gonna start with the SI joints. All right. Yeah, so no neck pain and shoulder pain ever, right? Not really. Probably right, because no. you keep your posture nice and straight. You've been doing great, Said, so Good awareness of your posture this whole time. I try. That's I, try, what, I try to be mindful of it. That's what posture is. Posture is trying. No one has good posture naturally, except for babies. Babies do. Hmm. Babies, kids. It's not until the world beats you down a little bit <laughs> that you start slouching. <laughs> Gravity and, does its thing. And breathing through your chest yeah. and your mouth. I try to be mindful of belly breathing as well. Yeah. Belly breathing, posture, those are two natural instincts. You see babies do it all day long. A little bit of tension here in the right mid thoracic. Skin reactivity to it. Let's see if there's much over there. Trap muscles, not too bad. Right or left, any more increased tension on one of these? Uh, right's a little more tender. That's that spot that you were just hitting there is. Not like this? Yeah, both sides really, but I think they're right a little more. All right, I'm gonna push down into the sacrum here. Any tension, discomfort here? Mm, not really. Tension, discomfort here. 
No. Tension discomfort here. No. Tension discomfort here. Uh, just, yeah, it's a little sensitive, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So we've got a little bit of edema here in the lower right yeah. SI. Yeah, I feel that. Good. That would suggest an anterior SI, uh, an anterior nomina on the right. So we'll see if that happens when you stand up again. And here's L5. Okay, any pain discomfort here? Uh, not really. Good. L4, any pain discomfort here? Yes, I feel that in my left leg. Okay, so segmentally we're looking at the L4 here. Yes. Left leg. L3, L4, so we're in the mid-upper mid, mid, upper, mid upper lumbar spine. Let's look at the glute folds here. We'll look at the bottom here. We're lower on the right. So that so we and we're externally rotated on the right. So this is probably the compensation over here being an EX because this was the we did see that right leg pointing out. I, I wonder if some of that too is tied to my my drumming because you kind of I feel like I kind of angle. Yeah, like my feet are angled that way, but yeah. I'm facing. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Let's bend down to the left. Good. And did you feel anything down your leg that time? No. Nope. Okay, it's not quite far enough, probably. Right side. Good movement on the right lateral flexion. Left side. Yeah, I can tell. It okay. feels like my core wants to like tighten or something. Well, which way? When I'm going left. Yeah, you're. It right. like, feels like I. I'm not trying to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it feels like my body's like hesitant to lean into it. All right, so that gives us an open wedge on the right. There's not as much movement on lateral flexion to the left. So the open wedge is on the right with the pinched nerve is on the left. So we have a, we should have a, uh, an in inferiority on the left side here. We're gonna check that. Go ahead and uh, lift your right leg up in the air. Go down, left, go down. Left lumbar muscles fired, or right lumbar muscles fired appropriately. Let's do, the, do that again. Uh, right, down, left, down. Yeah, I, I felt it that time in my left leg. Wait, it's it more difficult on the left? Uh, yeah, I can tell. Okay, that suggests the left sacral restriction, possibly, and that anterior rotation on the left. So we're looking at an L4. PLI so far. Let's see if this matches the same. We would expect this to be more tender on the left. First, we're going to find C4. Go here, C5. Which is more tender, left or right? Mm, maybe right, just a little bit. About right here, left or right? Right. Left or right? All right. Okay. Uh, so that's contradicting what we find. Let's see here, left or right? Ready, left, right. Left, right. Ooh, left a little. Okay. All right, so we do have an inferiority on the left. That actually matches the motion palpation, but what did not match was the anterior rotation. So let's dig in and see what's happening. Right, this one right here, right? It's tender? Yeah. Right. Left. Right. Left. 
I'd, yeah, I'd say has tender. They were both the same? I'd say. All right, the texture of this tissue is different. I'm feeling more, feeling more of the multifidus right there on that guy. There was always a spot in my left lower back that I could always kind of push into and feel. And I think it's where you are. <laughs> And it's kind of the spot that would always bother me when I was younger. Which one was more tender? Ready? One, two. One. One, two. Two. L4, left. Now, this is suggesting a PL. Uh, that's not what your neck suggested, but that's okay. The left sacral restriction, PL on the left, and then the motion palpation suggested a, an inferior rotation. And so, so if we looked at the spine on this one, the spinous process would be off to the left. We have the disc bulge on the right. And so to correct this, we're gonna to have to close the open disc. So, so we're gonna adjust right there. Not right here. Not right here. Right here. Disc. Yeah. And so the body for this L4 is rotated this way, and then it's turned that way. Oh. So we need to go like that and turn it. Good. Even that pressure down there, like I start to feel it in my leg. Right here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's because you it's because the because the primary issue here is not a disc bulge. The primary issue is is the canal stenosis that occurs from L3, 4, 5 all the way down to oh. S1 because of the shortened pedicles. So even though I'm going to adjust this very specifically, really the decompression is going to be the most important medicine for okay. today. T7, right, right, left, left. This is our wild card right here. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be important or not, but. Uh, I guess that, that it's probably super late to mention. I mean, it, it's probably in the reports, but. Here we go. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It just made me think of um, at, at PT when they were checking whatever nerve it is in my left, like, ankle. Yeah. It was like dead. I don't know what. Kind of freaked me out, honestly, a little bit. But I would like sit. Achilles tendon still works. Well, maybe it got better if that's possible since then. Sure. Because that was early in PT. So. Well, maybe you just, maybe the guy couldn't take a good reflex. Yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> So far, as you don't have a good report of the doctors that you've seen so far. No one's told you about these pedicles, and yeah, no one can elicit a reflex properly. All right, I'm going to use the instrument here to start loosening you up. We're going to be gentle here around some of these structures. Just let me know if you feel any increase in the L5, or excuse me, in the left leg. I, I feel that immediately. You feel it when I push here? Yep. All right, let's come up here. Are you okay when I push here? Yeah. Do you feel it when I push here? Uh, no. That way? Yes. This way? Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look, if I get to the very top of my breath, it's I start to feel it in my, like in my glute. It's, it's weird. Yeah, well, the very top of your breath is when the diaphragm is the furthest down and extending the most 
amount exerting the most amount of tension on the T12, which is which might be right here. It's four, three, two, one, twelve. So we should adjust this, but we're gonna adjust it anterior. All right, <clears throat> let's crack some things, okay? Okay, we're gonna start off. Let's practice one first since it's been a while since you've been adjusted. So you're gonna take a deep breath in. Good, and then out through your mouth. As you breathe out, I'm gonna follow the breath down, and then we're gonna push in that direction, okay? All right. Okay, let's give it a try. Go and take a deep breath in. Good, and out. Good, sinking in. Good. Perfect. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Okay, coming up to, oh, I think I was a little high on my mark here. It's actually this one. Okay, let's do a deep breath in. Got it out. Good, the shoulders sink, good. All the way in. Good. And out. Hmm. It's a tough one. I was going to say, well, I don't know if it is it neat. <laughs> yeah, your body definitely is protecting it. Good. Does it hurt when I push here? Feel it? Not too bad? No, no, no. no. Okay. Good. We're going to adjust the SI joint. Good. We're at S4, we're at the very bottom, we're here. Good, okay. Good, this one's going exterior. We're gonna push it back down this way and up that way at the same time. Good, go and take a deep breath in. Good, and out. A little rotation in that direction like that. Good. Oh, that's good. Wow. <laughs> okay, then you're back. Ugh. Does it feel like that when you crack it? No. I feel like I can already tell that as this leg's up, it's easier. Because I guess usually like I'll sometimes lay in my bed and I'll kind of do that yeah. to see if it would like try yeah. to, and it usually as soon as I even like do that, it's, I can tell, but even like doing that right now, it's not as bad as it was. You mean it feels better already? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Go and stand up and down towards your feet. Do you knee straight or? Yeah, if you want to bend them a little bit, that's okay. Just tell me when you feel it. Feel it, starting to feel it. Okay. But I feel like it's more. It is already yeah. increased. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I, like, as soon as I start moving that way, now it's. You feel it. It's feeling it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a leg, though. It's just that nerve. Like it's not my back. Okay. So, so this vertebra is moved in this direction. So we're gonna push it back this way, and it's tilted, and we so we need to do it clockwise. So I'm not going to stretch it too much. I'm not going to twist you, okay? We don't want to twist. So we can actually untwist a little bit here and take some pressure off that area. There's, we never want to over twist. We're not twisting the spine. We're tractioning in this direction. We want to stretch it and decompress it before we do the proper thrust. Okay, so we're going to come right on top, by the form, right on top of that segment. Okay, we're gonna push this way and turn this way. So gentle, let's try as gentle as we possibly can. Good, little, good, another breath, same thing, in and out. Good, 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 good. Oh, hang your back. That's pretty good, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was like... That was weird without the twist. Like I always thought you kind of had to have the twist to make it. Yeah, I guess not. Anyone can crack their back with a twist. It's doing it without the twist is the is the real magic. Yeah. Yeah, it catches there, but it still feel like it is more. Yeah, it's, it's about the same as it was before. Yeah. yeah. Down. Did you miss? I did. <laughs> no, I was aiming for the floor. Okay, let the head relax here, shoulders. We're gonna give this a little push, just like that. Wow, that's definitely better than what I do. <laughs> well, the yeah. thing is, is that when you're cracking your own neck, 
you always have to have muscles contracted. You know I mean, you can't crack your neck when you're completely relaxed. Mm -hmm. It's just impossible. So that's the whole point is that like you can get, I can get you completely relaxed where nothing is tense. There are no contracted muscles. Then we can push completely through a joint and have the biggest release possible. Because all the way out at C7 here. Let the head drop here, good. And as you breathe out, we're gonna pull in this direction like that. Good. Oh, oh, my. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was perfect. It's so believable. Uh, yeah, yeah, he paid me $20. And, uh, <laughs> Oh, that was like, I actually slipped a little bit. Yeah. How, how, did it feel all the way down? Yeah. Did it go down your leg? Yeah. Did it go actually, down the left the leg? Nerve pain did. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. It, it, <laughs> and well, we traction the nerve for sure. Yeah. Oh, extension in the nerve. I didn't know what to expect from that. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's, I see some people do it and they're just like, oh, it's good. <laughs> that was like. I didn't expect to feel my lower back, but yeah, I felt it the whole way. Even like sitting here now, it's like. So feel it? Yeah. We're gonna give it a minute, I'm gonna do it again. Oh boy. Yeah. You need to, you need to double ding. I feel like I'm like hypersensitive. A little shaky. Now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I am, I'm shaky. Let's see if we can control it with the breath. So if you wanna just like take some deep breaths in through your nose, like a little bit quicker. Good, keep that pace, keep going. Good, close your eyes. Good, imagine a fire. Good, keep breathing fast. Imagine a fire growing. Good, keep going, keep going. Keep breathing fast. Imagine the fire getting bigger, getting closer. Good, it's getting warmer, it's surrounding you. You're surrounded by fire, fire's everywhere. Good, keep breathing, keep breathing. Keep seeing fire, keep seeing fire, keep seeing fire. Fire, fire, breathe, 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 breathe. Breathe, stay relaxed. Warmer, a little bit. Tammuz meditation, these Buddhist monks, they climb the Himalayas, they go to the top, and they take off their clothes, okay? I'll just show you a little bit. They take off their clothes, and then they melt the snow around them. Wow. Yeah, pretty impressive. Uh, just by doing that with their mind. Yeah. All right, do you still feel it in your leg? Like the, the nerve pain? Yeah. No. It was pretty much gone after the first few seconds. Oh, okay, good. Sinking into the table. <sighs> Better. That wasn't as bad. Yeah. That was just like one upper. Yeah, uh-huh. It There's never any like the first one. The first one is always the most, you feel it the most. Yeah. There's more psychologically put into it. Yeah. After you get done your first one, that's just like routine. It's like yeah. brushing your teeth. You knew what to expect. That really does feel like yeah, just some do loops or yeah. Give me a laugh. <laughs> I do feel like everything's like yeah. I see what people say too about like I don't know if it's lightheaded, but it's very mm -hmm. yeah yeah. It's, I don't know how to explain it. Really carefully, give me a little knee bend, a little forward bend. Oh well, yeah, I mean if I do that, like I can I can do that, but if I keep my that's Keep true. it here, it's, yeah, it gets it right there. Okay. Good, good push. Good. Oh, wow. Right side push. Oh, what is that? I could hear it, but I don't really feel it. That's weird. <laughs> All right, sir, we've got some work to do. Uh-oh. Um, I think it, I think a couple of chiropractic adjustments, two or three adjustments, will give us a really good indication of how much I can help you. Okay. We already had some immediate improvement, and so I know at the very least that we can clear all the mechanical stuff, like that right sacrum and S4 is huge for you. And uh, that might be the primary compensation out of all of this. And so if we could remove the compensations and stabilize that, we could get some uh, uh, 
increased space for those nerves okay. and, uh, and decreased pressure on those discs. You're gonna I, just keep doing everything that you've been doing. I don't need you to do any special exercises. All right, I'm gonna write down some anti-inflammatory recommendations for you, some supplemental stuff. Okay. Uh, that'll be helpful. Some nerve nutrition as well. Uh, some uh, these are some long-term stuff that I that I want you to think about, but we're just going to start with the immediacy of this and decrease the immune system or decrease the uh, inflammation as much as possible. Try to get you out of pain as much as possible. Uh, we'll try a couple of chiropractic adjustments and we'll just take it one visit at a time. If I'm helping you, it'll be evident. If I'm not helping you, we'll figure out what the most important next best thing for you is. Okay. I know you've already tried a bunch of stuff. Uh, but we're going to try to do, uh, uh, we're going to do these adjustments and then we'll do some specific exercises and, uh, you're already doing great with your posture and stretching. So I appreciate that. The only thing I need you to do right now is drink lots of water. Okay. I can only imagine what my hair looks like right now. <laughs> it looks awesome. Yeah. You have some interesting things that I think are helpable. I don't see this as being not fixable. I definitely see lifestyle factors just and your awareness giving you the best long-term prognosis. Yeah. Uh, but for right now, let's just try to get you out of pain as quickly as possible. Yeah, that's that's my big thing is like, I'm 25. It's all because I, I guess, I mean, I guess it's not just because the, the wrong deadlift, but maybe that's just kind of what sparked it, kind of helped it. Exactly. Faster, I guess. Do you think it would have been something that would have happened in time anyway? I mean, like, if you were highly active, then yeah, it would have happened eventually. But it's, it's not a death sentence, you know what I mean? It's yeah. not like a have to happen, but you're actually, it's actually better that it happened now. Because now that you have the, first of all, the earlier it happens, the better, because now you have the awareness of it. Yeah. And now you can do the things while your body is still young enough to recover and heal. So that it's not just something that you're just like, go through life with and then all of a sudden one day when you're 50 now all of a sudden it takes you five times as long to heal anything mm -hmm. and it's been degenerating this whole time yeah so it's actually perfect if you have any other questions reach out to me okay okay sounds good all right man appreciate it nice